All right, today we're talking about the day one class meta for the AR players in MW3. The pro players have just stayed up all night playing the kickoff tournaments. So I'm here bringing you guys the most up-to-date pro classes uh, that we saw last night. So the meta for the ARs shaping up right now is that it's a really heavy AR meta, three to four ARs per team, uh, simply because of how good the Holger is. So the Holger and the MCW are the two ARs that teams are using. And it looks like the Holger is probably the best weapon in the game by far. And I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see it in the competitive league with it being GA'd, but let's see how it actually plays out. We don't know yet if it's actually going to be banned, but I just have these pro classes for you in case you just want to slay out in pubs with it because it is still a really good weapon. So let's get right into these pro classes. I was looking at all these streams, trying to get different point of views of players and finding their classes for you guys. Uh, if I missed anyone, I apologize. It's just anything that I could have found on stream and a VOD. So let's get right into it. All right, we're first gonna start out with the Toronto guys. Scrap and Envoy use this class. So we'll start off with the Muzzle Break, the Cassis Break for the Horizontal Recoil and Firing Aim Stability. With the Underbarrel, we have the FSS Shark Fin, just like we saw last year. Uh, high velocity ammunition, you're gonna see this a lot. Players are opting to use Use that high velocity ammunition once again. For the barrel, you're gonna see the Creo 6 match. This is gonna be a really popular barrel. Uh, bullet velocity and range, recoil control, and gun kick control. And then with the optic, you're gonna have the choice of the MK3 reflector like you have here, or the slate reflector. It's really just personal preference, whether you want that ELO sight or whether you want the regular red dot sight. So it's basically personal preference. You can go either way with that. So that's what uh, Scrap and Envoy were using. Then for Insights Holger, we have the slate reflector. He opted to use that. Then once again, we have the Cryo six match barrel. Uh, he took off the muzzle for a grip and he's going to be using the Morn 20 grip. If you don't have a muzzle and you're using a grip, a lot of the players are using this Morn 20 grip. For the ammunition, once again, high velocity. And then the under barrel, he actually changed it to the Edge BVW4 hand stop. Uh, so that's going to be more for, you know, aim walking speed, movement speed. So giving you a little bit of more faster AR uh, in terms of what you're trying to do on the map. So it really depends on what you guys want to do play style wise. You can use this hand stop if you want to be a little bit faster or uh, like the shark fin like they were using for a little bit more aiming uh, stability. So that's going to be the ARs that Toronto was using. We'll move on to the phase guys here and all four of them actually had different Holgers uh, but this is a BZ right here. He's using the slate reflector. He actually added a stock. This is the RB adult assault stock for recoil control and gun kick control and then we had the rear grip. He actually used the CT2000 tactical grip which is more for sprint to fire speed and then uh, he actually didn't have the high velocity ammunition but instead he actually had the saber compensator for the massive horizontal recoil and then the F Tech SP10 angle grip for even more horizontal recoil control, idle sway, but it does have that con for the vertical recoil control. Uh, so this is what he was rocking. All right, this is Sims class. Once again, slate reflector. Uh, he also uses C2 2000, just like a BZ high velocity, but he actually uses the X10 Phantom hand stop under barrel. This is for more sprint to fire speed. You're gonna see a lot of that as well. And then he also uses the saber compensator just like a BZ. So similar to his teammate, but a little bit different. So that's a uh, simp for you. Moving on to Draza. Once again, Slate Reflector. He's actually going to change his grip for the Morn 20 grip. Uh, you're going to see a lot of, you know, sub players that use this Holger, uh, probably use the CT2000, while the more regular AR players use this Morn 20 grip. And then he's going to also go high velocity. Same thing with his phase teammates. He's going to go with the Saber Compensator. And then he goes with the uh, angled grip, just like Abizi did. We'll move on to Celium. And he actually was the only one that I could see that did not use an optic. He tried to go for the five regular attachments, no optic. And he uses the Cryo 6 match barrel, uh, just like the Toronto guys did. He's actually using the X10 ported for massive vertical recoil. And then for the underbarrel, he's actually using the FTAC MSP 98 hand stop for the aim walking speed. And then uh, once again, high velocity ammunition and the more 20 grip, uh, just like Draza. So uh, actually a really interesting class because I believe he was using the MCW for most of it. And we'll get to that later on. Uh, but this was his Holger class when he did use it. We'll move on to Brandon. He was using a slate reflector once again, Kraus six match, uh, the BW hand stop underbarrel, high velocity, and then the more 20 grip. So pretty standard class for him. We'll move on to Kenny. He opted for the RB Adult Assault stock, similar to a BZ. Uh, he actually has the Cronin OP44 muzzle for massive vertical recoil control and the Kimura for the gun kick control and the vertical recoil control. So massively trying to limit the vertical recoil on this gun. And then finally, the more than 20 grip. So no high velocity ammunition, no barrel for him. And lastly, we'll go to the class that both Skump and Hydra were using. Slate Reflector, RB Adult stock, similar to Kenny. Uh, intruder grip, actually. So the, for the sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed rather than the Morn 20 or the CT2000. And then you have uh, no ammunition, no barrel, but you do have the Cronin OP44 once again for the vertical recoil control and then the X10 Phantom 
hand stop uh, for that aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. So they're kind of playing it more like as if they were a sub uh, with that AR. So uh, it makes complete sense. So if you do want to have a faster class, this is definitely one of those ones. So as you see with these first initial classes, there's going to be a lot of variability just because no one knows really what is the best optimal setup so far. So they're all kind of testing things out. That's why you see a lot of players running different things, but you do see some consistent things as you saw there with the Holger. So moving on to the MCW, this is Cell's class, uh, MK13 Reflector. We're actually going to be using the Regal Heavy Stock here. This is for recoil control and gun kick control. And then for the rear grip, we're going to have the RB Claw PSL grip, firing aim stability, gun kick control. So really making it like it's a laser beam. You're going to see the 16.5 inch MCW Cyclone long barrel. Pretty much everyone is running this. So this is going to be the staple barrel for the MCW. And then lastly, he's going to be using the ability break for that massive vertical recoil control. So really laser beams out of this one. Moving on to Dashi MK3 reflector for the optic. Once again, the Cyclone long barrel. We're actually going to be using the L4R flash hider. I actually really like this muzzle concealment one. At least when I was using it, uh, it felt like it was just shooting straight beams out of this one. Then he's using the X10 TX12 hand stop for the aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. And then lastly, he's actually using the high grain rounds, which I was kind of surprised when I saw this first off. Uh, bullet velocity and damage range with the recoil control con rather than the high velocity ammo. So I was kind of uh, taken aback by that one, but let's see how that actually works out uh, with this class. And then lastly, Skies and Sib were both using the MCW a lot. This was their class, Slate Reflector. They actually had the Iron Bark tactical stock for the in-down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. Uh, then they actually had the RB Claw PSL grip, gun kick control for that one. And then they actually moved on to the Phantom 5 hand stop, sprint to fire, and down sight speed. And then lastly, the Barrow like everyone else was using. So those were the MCW classes. Not many people were running it just because the Holger was just by far and away uh, the better weapon. And lastly, I figured I'd give this a shout. This was Envoy class he was using the mtc for a little bit in these tournaments it was kind of like he was playing with this ar as if he were a sub just because the airs just look a little bit better right now so this is kind of like maybe a flex weapon type thing uh, going on here so once again mk3 reflector he actually is using the marauder stock for recoil control because this does kick a lot this mtz and then the bruin once again gun can control f tac angle grip for the horizontal recoil control and then lastly the mtz clinch pro barrel for the damage range and idle sway uh, with that bullet velocity so that was the mtc glass i think he was the only one using uh, this specific ar but figured i shot that out in case you guys wanted to know uh, that type of class but you're going to be seeing more and more mcws most likely i'm expecting the holger to get banned because of how good it actually is so definitely be on the lookout for some more class updates just because uh, right now we have a lot of variability and we have that holger but once we get a standard better going uh, we'll probably do another video just explaining the more improved classes so that you guys can have an updated version version of this. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video where we talk about SMGs and what SMGs players were using. It wasn't that many, but there were a few people that were using, you know, the Rival 9 and the Striker. So we'll get into that. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.